thanks for coming everyone. Um, we're extremely fortunate to um, launch our newest brand in the store uh, tonight. Uh, it's a Queensland brand, it's a family owned and operated um, company. Uh, so uh, obviously no secret, it's Fennec Guitars. Um, Aaron and his wife Stacey live in on the Gold Coast. Uh, they make uh, boutique guitars out of all solid uh, tone woods. Um, Leanne and I were really fortunate. We went down to see the factory beginning of March. Just before COVID. Yeah. Had, Just snuck it in. Yeah, had, pla <laughs> had planned to launch the brand a little earlier, but we got there in the end. Um, but yeah, it's uh, we, we think it's poised to be the premier guitar brand, uh, Australian guitar brand, in the next few years. Um, incredibly uh, well-made, well-sourced timber, um, a lot of attention to detail. So we've got eight of them uh, that we'll unbox tonight. Uh, we'll probably blast through a few of them, but um, some of the guys are gonna play through um, some of their favorites. Um, obviously, it's a hands-on night, so if you see one you like and you wanna play it, you're more than welcome to. Um, we've got heaps of polish and guitar cleaner, so maybe between people playing them, just for social distancing, we'll wipe them down before we pass them on to the next person, so if you can help us with that, that would be great. Um, awesome, well, <coughs> so like I said, there's eight guitars in our range. Um, being boutique handmade guitars, they are all somewhat unique, so we are able to order a variety of different timber combinations in different sizes. Uh, we think we've got a pretty good cross-section of what you can do from um, from the timbers and the body shapes that he does. Um, might kick it off and I'll uh, open the first guitar, yeah. yeah. Cool. Here we have a Fennec VT. So the VT range uh, is uh, what he calls all of his guitars except for his top end master built, which you'll see at the end. VT stands for volume and tone. Um, so that's what he goes for in every guitar. This guy here is a auditorium, sorry, grand auditorium body size. So anyone who's familiar with the kind of uh, Martin OM shape. Uh, he's a big fan of Taylor. Um, so a lot of the body shapes mirror what Taylor do. This guy is a double A-grade spruce top, double A-grade New Guinea rosewood back and sides. All of his necks are one-piece New Guinea rosewood necks. You don't see that too often in a lot of guitars. Um, but yeah, beautiful. I'm not much of a player, but I might invite Eli. Did you want me to do the second one or that one? Yeah. Uh, we'll do this one. Sure. Do you want to do acoustically? Does everyone want yeah. to hear him acoustically first? Mm. So one thing that I mentioned, all of the guitars across the range do come with a pickup. It's a sound hole loaded A1 uh, pickup uh, by Fennec. Um, so it is an active pickup with volume and tone, uh, phase reversal and volume. Um, yeah. So he does that because it's a most uh, effective use of the, the tonality of the guitar without having to route for a preamp system. So, yeah. um, and they all come with a high okay, as well. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
folks, and what Kirk was planning... Oh, wow, there's already one out. I'll put this one right here, Kirk. Yes, please. Um, guitars are for playing. Yeah, you're more than welcome to come and have a play. Um, so yeah, uh, this is uh, the Fennec starting price, uh, the VT uh, standard series. Every series is available in uh, a couple of different body shapes. So we have the Grand Auditorium here. I've just pulled out a VT in their Dreadnought size, which is what they call a D78. Um, available in a heap of different timber combinations for the back and sides. Um, this one, it's actually quite unique. I hadn't seen a guitar with the Camphor Laurel back and sides before. It's um, my favourite. Yeah. <laughs> Leanne's looking at getting a, a master build and looking at more Camphor Laurel because it's highly figured and, and stunning. Um, I also should mention in his uh, production, he can do cutaways in the Grand Auditorium in the Dreadnought shape. Um, the next one that we'll pull out is actually the smallest one, which is the Auditorium. He's not offering a, a cutaway in that version. But like I said, pickups in all of them. So. Two seconds, did you? <laughs> um, so yeah, One Piece New Guinea Rosewood next on all of them. Uh, the VT series that we've got here, these are a rosewood fingerboard, um, which I quite like. So yeah. Dreadnought shape, um, yeah, camphor laurel back and sides, one piece New Guinea rosewood neck, Goto machine heads, um, rosewood fingerboard. Yeah, that's a stunning guitar. No, quick time that, I'll get yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Goodness me. Ah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We didn't have any checked baggage, so we had to leave it there. Someone had already bought that one, so yeah. I wasn't allowed to take it home. So this is the third body shape he does. This is the auditorium. So this is the smallest that they do. Um, I guess the closest equivalent in what we would sell would be something like the Mini Maiden, but the Mini Maiden is smaller, um, and also the Mini in Maiden. between the 808 and the Mini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably a happy medium right between them. Um, so uh, again, double A grade tip just free stop. This is Blackwood back and sides. This actually has had a burst. Um, he's gone through a, like a burst phase at the moment. You know, <laughs> talk about artists and their phases. He's definitely in the burst, and you'll see the next couple that we bring out are very much in that vein. But you uh, can pretty much choose whatever you want. So like, yeah, just make yeah. it whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a burst or not? And yeah. I, I, sh I should probably point out at this time that because it is a 
small boutique manufacturer, the great thing is they do their own social medias, they do their own website. So we've actually already had a customer that has put in a build order and she's been getting Facebook messages with progresses of the build. Awesome, and yeah. she's been able to say, I want a custom inlay, awesome. I want it to look like this. And he's, we, she's forwarded on some messages to Leanne and some progress shots of the build. And it's, yeah. it's really cool. You do actually get that involvement. Um, yeah. Uh, so again, in the VT series, uh, so One Piece Neck uh, with Nikki Rosewood um, and uh, Rosewood Fingerboard. Um, Beautiful guitar. I think, yeah, anyone that's looking at things like Baby Taylor's making minis, this will this will kind of sit nicely in that size and probably run rings around. You playing again? Say, well, the one thing I asked Will to when he said no. Oh, <laughs> um, I was going to say the one thing. Do you want to play the pick? No. Well, I just realised I'm not playing. None of those I've played with the pick. Yeah, it gets a bit more. Yeah, it's a huge difference. Yeah. But we're both bigger stuff. Though. That's got a nice big projection. Yeah, this is actually one of my favourites. I like small guitars, and um, it's hard to find small guitars that have big punch, like a big sound. So, yeah, yeah, I quite like that one. Awesome. Uh, so, everything we've seen so far is what he considers his his bottom tier, which. Uh, I don't know about you, but I, I, I don't really feel that does the, the range justice. Um, but it is his starting point. Obviously, being a boutique uh, manufacturer, he's not going to do a five ninety nine guitar. Um, so these start at two nine 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 with a hard case. The burst is a slight upcharge. I think about one hundred and fifty dollars. But like I said, you can order these in any timber combination, with or without bursts. Um, so the the standard VT range has the double A grade Sitka spruce top. Uh, he then does a, kind of a half step before his next one which actually takes whatever tone wood you've got on the back and sides and puts it on the front. So that's this guy, the VTH, the H stands for hardwood. So volume, tone, hardwood. So in this particular one, we've got blackwood back and sides. So that means blackwood top. This is in the Grand Auditorium with the cutaway. Um, this one, you really should have a look at close up because the binding on it is off the charts good. You can actually see it's a timber binding that follows the curve of the the cutaway beautifully. I I was a little bit hesitant when we were doing the factory walk around. Um, so Leanne and I were called and said, you know, this new guy in the world is making cars, you've got to see him. And we thought, we've got mate, we've got Cole Clark, we've got the best in Australia, we don't really need enough brand. But, you know, we humoured humored them and we started doing the, the factory tour. And the whole way I'm like, because I've done the mate and the Cole Clark factory tour, the whole way through the tour I was like, yep, yeah, cool, you're making a guitar, I get it. Guitar, yeah, good on you. Like, give it a track. He showed me his binding, and I thought, if this guy goes to that much effort for the binding, which has absolutely nothing to do with the playability of the guitar, how much effort is he going to in everything else? So, I think for me, that was that was the first thing that started making me seal the deal. Um, so, this guy, all blackwood, uh, top, back, and sides, still one piece Nikini rosewood neck. That's the same across the range. Uh, you still get the rosewood fingerboard. But he's moved to block inlays and he's actually used blackwood. So it's actually not a bit of ply. It is actually blackwood block inlays. And this is in a desert burst, and I think that's probably the nicest burst looking guitar I've seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. That's really great. Uh, 3299, I want to say. Um, so the, the comp for this would be uh, the Cole Clark Angel 2 EC, all blackwood. Uh, we sell a boatload of them, it's our biggest selling cold park by a country mile. Um, and they are awesome guitars, so I don't want to seem like I'm you know, bagging out any brand. This would be the, the comparison. 
Um, it's a little bit north of the Cog Park price point, but I think you get that in the build quality in the timber selection. Um, his double A grade timbers in any other brand would be their top of the line. Yeah. 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 One of the ones we've got is High Gloss. Uh, he, being a, a three person operation, to do a High Gloss takes a lot of time <coughs> and effort. So he's sanding between coats, polishing, and reapplying the coat. So um, he will do gloss. He avoids it like the plague if he can. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so these are all nitro finished um, and you can smell it. Actually, the, the camphor laurel, you can smell the camphor laurel. It's gorgeous. Um, so uh, yeah, VTs. Uh, for his entry level, VTH with the hardwood top, so same same build specs, um, but then with the hardwood top on there. This is uh, the, his uh, next tier up, so this is the VT Pro. Uh, main difference is the triple A grade timber, so this is triple A grade to spruce top with blackwood back and sides, and I don't know if you can tell, but um, the, the flame and the fiddle back, um, you know, the shimmer that you get when you actually move the guitar is off the charts. That would be custom shop in pretty much any other manufacturer. Uh, so this again is a Grand Auditorium cutaway. Uh, main difference is the AAA grade um, timber and the fingerboard goes to ebony um, and then you get the block inlays. You also do get the upgrade to the uh, the white go-to machine heads. Who wants to play this? Can you not do it that strong? Yeah. As the ordinary guitarist here, like the most basic guitarist here, you give us a pick. You can play a piano a little bit though. <laughs> <laughs> Find the one that's out of tune. Hey, Will and Eli were both able to make it in tune. Play tears in heaven. in a sunset burst. We'll use that for the next guitar before you set up the next person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll do that for you. Yeah. <laughs> That's the price one. Uh, so, BT Pro range. Uh, this is a so same, same tier that we've got over there. Uh, this is in his Dreadnought with a cutaway. His cutaways are beautiful and soft. They're not, like, not Venetian, they're not uh, it's almost like a very modern cutaway. Uh, so, triple uh, A grade Sitka spruce top, blackwood back and sides, and again the fiddle back shimmer in that is spectacular. Uh, one thing that I haven't mentioned is all of his guitars have the velute in the neck. Um, it's actually just a thicker section at the break angle um, where the, the headstock curves back, purely so that there's extra reinforcement there, there's extra mass there. So. If it cops a ding, if it you know, hits the deck, 
there's a lot more mass right at that joint. Um, Cole Clark do a really interesting like a uh, socket join with a two-piece uh, headstock. Um, their philosophy is if it hits the deck and breaks, it's a real easy thing to fix. This philosophy is if it hits the deck, it shouldn't break. So don't test it. <laughs> don't test it. Wouldn't be covered under warranty, but. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, triple leg uh, timbers, uh, spruce top lock on back and sides, uh, and again the ebony fingerboard and then the upgraded machine heads. Awesome. That's so beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I want to play that. Across yeah, he's setting yeah. up because apparently <laughs> that's one of his favourites. Uh, I was like, yeah. you've got to play this. <laughs> <laughs> no. I actually think this might be my personal favourite. That's the one. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this go. is the VT Pro Rosewood. So you get East Indian Rosewood back and sides. Um, very, very hard to come by now. We're seeing a lot of the large manufacturers move away from East Indian Rosewood. Um, is it because they can't guarantee supply? Yeah, basically they can't do big numbers and guarantee supply. So there are a few maidens. Uh, that use rosewood back and sides. The, the, the top tier Messiah uses rosewood back and sides. Um, yeah, again, this level of East Indian rosewood in any other manufacturer you wouldn't get in anything less than custom shop. So, um, yeah, I absolutely adore this guitar. Um, specs are the same as the VT Pro, so triple A grade, triple A grade timbers, uh, one piece New Guinea rosewood neck, ebony fingerboard. Um, and I think Eli wants to give this one a play. That's my favourite. Yeah. This thing's amazing. If you don't even need that tune, it'll be a tune. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in this store, Pete is one of the most talented musicians we know, but the, the game is for the last 10 years or so. Stitchy. Stitchy. <laughs> Sides. That's one of the most iconic timber combinations of guitars on the planet. Gibson do it, Taylor do it, Martin do it, Maiden do it, um, and there's a reason. It just it just works. Um, with rosewood being really hard to source at the moment, especially ethically, um, a lot of larger manufacturers are moving away from it because they can't guarantee large runs of guitars. So the fact that he only needs to do a couple of hundred guitars a year means that he can source. Um, some pretty special timbers. What do you reckon? Do you like two thumbs up? Oh yeah. 
That's going to get me in trouble. Yeah. 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 So that that's the culmination of the production line guitars. That builds us to master build. Uh, so pretty much, if if he can get it in terms of timber, he'll use it. Uh, he grades everything as it hits the factory floor. Um, and he's actually even got his timber suppliers calling him up saying, I've just cut the most beautiful piece of blackwood, camp laurel, New Guinea rosewood, whatever. Um, he names them, he actually gives them names and puts them in his, um, in his timber area and he you know, waits for a special, special guitar. So when other large scale manufacturers get timber through, they need to make sure that they can make 4,000 of it. So um, unfortunately, a lot of what they pass on, except for maybe in their custom shops, is timber like this. So this is uh, master grade spruce top, uh, master grade big leaf maple back in the sides. Uh, again, uh, this is actually a New Guinea rosewood neck. I queried him because it doesn't look like any New Guinea rosewood that I've ever seen. Um, but he just had this amazing piece with this highly figured grain. Uh, ebony fingerboard. Uh, on all of his master builds, he will do a bound fingerboard um, and then whatever inlay he's going for at that point in time. So or you can pick your own. You can pick your own. <laughs> yeah, Leanne was talking to him about, uh, she's always wanted a, like a floral kind of uh, pattern, not too dissimilar to the, the tack mini we've got in the cabinet there. Um, and then while he was in lockdown, he's been working on this yeah, crazy. It's like a vine kind of yeah. vibe. Yeah. But yeah, incredible detail. So it's actually, in this one, he's actually mirrored the custom inlays on the bridge and uh, head stop plate. Um, but yeah, his master builds, you can spec as high as you want. So yeah, as you can see, high gloss, big leaf maple back and sides. Um, yeah, big, big tone. And I really don't do it justice. <laughs> Come on, Billy. I think with that one as well, you have this, it's a strange thing, people get in their heads, lighter woods, so they think of brighter, darker yeah. woods, you think of a darker tone, play with the rice woods, because yeah. it doesn't look the way it should, it sounds different than the way it looks. The heart of the wood, the, 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 the bright of the tone. Yeah. So there's nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. So one of the, the things with the master builds is that they're individually bored. So he's actually shaping the the, um, the bracing to remove mass to allow them to actually uh, resonate. Um, so he does that individually for the master builds, and then in the same breath, turn and said, "But I also voice every other guitar uniquely as well." So um, even though that's a sales pitch that he puts into the master builds, he is. <coughs> like one person voicing all of his guitars. So even though you're maybe not buying a master built, you're still getting that same, that guy, his hands, his his years of experience shaping the tone of the guitars. So I, I'm a little bit biased because I've seen the factory and I've bought into the brand story, but <coughs> I, I really do think they are putting shot across the bow to other manufacturers in this country and internationally that you know, they're here and they're to be reckoned with. Cool. Don't let us tell you. Come yeah, up yeah. Thanks for coming. Uh, heaps of drinks, heaps of food. Come out and play. Yeah. <laughs>
Can I buy five, so it's first? Kevin, I know you're waiting.